good afternoon. My name is Hui Lin, and I'm the PhD student from the University of Illinois. I'm working with uh, Professor Kovacek, uh, Zivina Kovacek, and Professor Ravi Ayer. Today, we're going to demonstrate our work to detect many of the middle attacks in the SCADA network. In this slide, I'll briefly describe what is this demo about. We uh, de designed and implemented in Bro a DMP3 analyzer. It will examine every network packet, extract the payload, and store it in a table uh, residing in the Bro IDS address space. The data uh, extracted uh, includes the magnitude and angle of each phase of the voltage and current. And then we check the state of being used by the scalar master by uh, comparing it with the system state uh, uh, obtained directly from the sensor. The actual de demonstration will be the detection of a man in the middle attack. Uh, SCADA systems uh, must be well protected from the cyber attacks, but most current IDS does not support it very well. So we propose to adapt the specification-based IDS in this environment. Uh, what is a security specification? Based on my knowledge, this uh, explicit declaration that defines the model of correct system behavior. Here, the security specification are defined by using no uh, system invariant. Then we detect the unexpected on the network activities based on the predefined security specifications. We implement our IDS in Bro because Bro provides a flexible script and language to implement different security policies. And also, it provides convenient interface to uh, add in the new application layer uh, analyzers. In this slide, I've described a little bit about how we integrate a DMP3 analyzer into Bro. Bro contains two components, the event engine and the policy script interpreter. We integrate in the event engine a DMP3 parser, so Bro can actually decode the raw byte stream from the DMP3 network traffic into meaningful data field. Then we can define or implement different policy to analyze those data field. For example, we included in Bro a protocol validation policy to check that the format of each DMP3 network packet conform to the protocol definitions. And in order to do that, we implement 38 rules defined in the DMP3. Of course, we can also uh, include in the D uh, DMP3 analyzer the security policy to detect any malicious activities, such as uh, the, in this demo, we'll define a policy to detect the tempering of voltage and current values. The DMP3 parser and the integrated uh, uh, policy uh, construct the DMP3 analyzer. Uh, our demo will be carried out in the SCADA testbed, which has been deployed in this lab. And uh, it contains two parts, the control center and the substation. We use a, a Windows XP desktop to simulate a SCADA master which is shown in this screen. We're using a software which is called Protocol Test Harness to simulate a SCADA master. And um, it will uh, issue the DMP3 request periodically to the substation uh, to request uh, the measurement data from the substation. In the substation, uh, if there's anything uh, abnormally happened from the network, the SCADA master usually generates alerts or warnings from this big status window. In the substation, uh, we use several uh, real hardware devices uh, from the Schweizer engineering, uh, engineering Lab, which is put on the rack at the back of this lab. The SEO AMS is simulated electrical line. It will produce the voltage and the current signal to the SEO 422 relay. The SEO 3530 RTAC is a data aggregator. And uh, this is shown in this screen. It contains two software. The DMP3 master retrieved the ma uh, measurement data from the relay. And then the DMP3 slave expects the DMP3 request from the SCADA master and replies with the collected measurement data. Both of these communication are performed independently. And in the error-free operation, uh, these two com the measurement data carried by these two communications should be consistent to each other. In this lab configuration, we connect the SCADA master, RTAC, and relay into a network switch. And uh, we deploy our Bro IDS with the DMP3 analyzer in a separate laptop. 
and we connect this laptop to the uh, network switch so we can we can monitor the traffic that transmitted on both of this communication we just mentioned before. Uh, the DMP3 parser, the component of the uh, DMP3 analyzer, extracts the voltage and current values from the DMP3 packet on both of the communication, independent of the security policy we want to use. And this is shown in this screen. And we can see that on the left side, on your left side, is the current and voltage value that uh, collected from the relay. And on the right side, is the voltage and current values provided by the SCADA. Um, we're using the left side value as the system invariant, so, and we also put the voltage on the upper side and the current on the lower side. Both of the voltage and the current contain three phases, and the uh, magnitude and angle of each phase are displayed on those text boxes. And uh, we draw the vector to represent each phase according to the magnitude and its angles. In this demo, we will uh, simulate a man-in-the-middle attacks by running the, uh, by installing a Trojan DMP3 agent in the RTAC. And this, R this Trojan will place the similar communication as the original DMP3 master and the DMP3 slave. However, it will uh, modify the voltage or current values with some minor changes. This Trojan uh, supplies a D uh, scalar master with the corrupted data in a valid format. As a result, the scalar master can take those corrupted data and may use it for the power flow analysis. In order to detect these attacks, we propose a security policy, uh, which is shown in this screen in the middle. This security policy is based on a specification that the uh, voltage or current values transmitted in both of the communication channel should be consistent to each other. Based on this specification, we can make a comparison of the two set of the voltage or current data to detect the, corrupted da uh, to detect the data corruption. Right now, let's install the malware to see what will happen. By running this malware, we can see that our DMP3 analyzer begins its detection as soon as the Trojan begins its execution. In the blue box, we contain the system invariant values, and in the red box, we contain the highlights the uh, corrupted values. And uh, in this yellow box, we uh, display the detail alert. As we can see that we made minor changes on those corrupted, uh, corrupted data, so there's, it, there isn't any obvious changes from the simply based on the values themselves. However, our DMP3 analyzer can make the successful uh, detection. Also, from the RTAC screen, I programmed the Trojan to print out whatever it modified, and based on, by comparing the detailed alert it generated from my DMP3, DMP3 analyzer, we can know that my IDS can actually locate the value that is corrupted. Let's go back to the SCADA master. During this whole process, the SCADA master behave exactly as before. That means the corrupted data has been successfully avoiding the detection of the SCADA master. And this DMP3 analyzer will be included in the Bro release version uh, 2.2 and with the support of the Bro organization from the NCSA in Illinois and IBNL in Berkeley. It will be download, uh, available for downloading uh, around uh, November 2012. And uh, if you have any questions or comment, uh, please feel free to communicate with me. And in the last slide, we will describe a little bit about our future work, which is based on our observation that the issued commands is control center usually issued commands based on a state estimation. But what if the attacker avoids the state, state estimation and issue the malicious command? In order to detect that, we propose to include in the DMP3 analyzer the periodically pulled measurement data found on the network, as well as the suspicious control, of, uh, control command issued by the potential attacks. We include in these two pieces of information into the state estimation so we can predict the effect of the control command. And that ends, our, ends my demo, and thank you very much.